Hello, my name is Devin, as I am a, a participant in the NASA Optimus Prime spin-off video contest. Uh, a spin-off, as you most likely already are aware of, are technologies developed by NASA to work in space, and then when they prove to be successful, they are brought into civilian or military use. Uh, I looked over numerous spin-off projects, but there was one in particular that caught my eye. It involved UAVs. This is a UAV Reaper drone. As a UAV stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. It is a unique type of plane in that it does not need to be pi piloted by a human, and uh, it is either autonomously controlled or remote controlled. It has some certain advantages, such as it does not need to meet as many safety standards as normal planes would due to the lack of a pilot. It can be sent into hazardous areas since that won't affect the pilot. <coughs> but there is a problem, a problem that plagues it. At high altitudes and in certain conditions, ice layers build upon the wings and that can cause irreparable damage to the plane, which is a definite problem. Uh, NASA engineer Leonard Haslam has come up with a solution to this. By bonding a rubber plastic frame to the plane, and they have been have been able to create a solution for this. But they install two electrical conductors in the plane's wings, which allow then, if certain conditions cause the plane to be damaged, they can, before any the damage becomes severe, they can send an electrical charge which will burn up which will shatter the ice and cause it to fall off. I find this very interesting because it has really it has really prevented the one big problem for UAVs, a uh, sort of, uh, big military advantage, and uh, I just found the engineering somewhat fascinating. If this could, if it works for plant, if it works for UAVs, perhaps we can use it for manned aerial vehicles such as a F-22, such as a F F-22 Raptors and other aerial vehicles. and um. Maybe we could do, go beyond planes. It could stop boats from being frozen in the Arctic if we use a similar strategy for boats, or even stop cars from freezing over in snowstorms. Well, I hope you appreciate the research I put into this, and uh, thank you for your time.